In this video, I want to show you how to use the Envato Elements template kit, how to install them, how to edit them, and how to use them for your own benefit. So the first thing we need to do is that when we come to the back end of our website, you need a theme. You can go with the Astra theme, which is the best theme I use for most of my tutorials, or you can use any theme at all. You can use Ocean WP. You can also use Hello Elementor. Now, when you come to plugins, you need the Elementor theme because the Envato Elements template kit only works with Elementor. So, you need to install Elementor. And we can also install Elementor header and footer builder. So, after that, we need the Envato Elements theme itself, the plugin rather, Envato. And this is the one we are going to be using. The first one with one point, I think one plus million downloads. So with these two, we can go ahead and build our website. Three rather. I want to activate all of these themes. These plugins rather. Pardon me. Now I've gone ahead and activated all of these plugins. Let's come to pages. We have a number of pages here. I want to delete all of them. This came with the theme and I want to create a new page. And I'm going to name it home. And I'll publish it, publish and then edit with Elementor. It's loading. Now it gives me, I'll say continue. I'll come back here. I want all of these widgets here to be on top. So I'll need to activate the latest layout. Let me go back to my back end. It makes it very easy for you to locate widgets. So I'll come back here, come to Elementor, settings, and come to features and just activate all. Activate all. And you see, now if I reload this page, you see now all of this is up here. Now, what I want to do is that I'm going to be using the Envato Elements template kit. Here it is. Just click on it and then come to free kit. So these are entire websites you can install and begin to use, but you can go alternatively portion by portion. This is the about us section. And if we come back, you can see the hero section. You can use this, but I want to install an entire template kit and use it to build my website. Let's just say I am a lawyer. And mind you, all of these are free. So this is a law firm. You can preview this. That's a law website. It's loading. You can also search other templates around here. If I preview this, it already shows me the different parts of this website. I can click on this and it loads. So you see, this is already a full fledged website. Now, but mind you, for some of these template kits, you will need Elementor Pro. So, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using only free template kits. So, any template kit that requires Elementor Pro, I'm not going to use that. I can assure you this one most likely requires Elementor Pro. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to install when you install and you want to insert it, it's going to tell you if you need Elementor Pro. Now you see install requirements. Let's come to install requirements. And you see here you need Elementor Pro. Now let's click on install above. You need Elementor Pro for this particular one. So I'm going to close. Now some of this here for this, this particular um, home tool, it, you need Elementor Pro. For these two, you need Elementor Pro. Wherever you see these requirements here, because we ignore them, know for sure that you need Elementor Pro to use that particular layout. 
let me go ahead and preview this this one does not seem like it needs Elementor Pro so we are going to we can either click on install template from here or just close that and come and click on install template it usually takes maybe 5 to 15 seconds depending on your internet speed so you see it's going there progressively we'll just wait for it let's watch it as 50 56 and then all of a sudden you can go ahead while it installs you explore which ones you're going to be using this is the services page this is the about us page and it doesn't need elementor pro so these are different about us variations this about us one about us two about us three so you can see the team team two faq and then for contact us it requires elementor pro so the, our home page has gone ahead and installed everything that we need so you can go ahead from here and begin to customize we have a video here on the background let me go ahead and look at it so this is a youtube video if you want to change this video you can go to pexels.com and then just switch here to video and look for law firm or just say lawyer lawyer search that now you can see these are all videos of lawyers these are all videos of lawyers all of these are free let me open this in a new tab while it loads you can see this is law you can use this one if you want so let's just go to free download let's download a version that will not be too heavy for us to upload i will download that okay so it's it's quite light so we can even download it in 1920 by 1080 that's high definition and it's still just 3.4 megabytes so what we want to do is i want to come to the back end of our website come to media add new media file and then select i will come now and install this upload rather it's loading while it loads let's go ahead and preview we can also change whatever it is we desire here you see this is lorem ipsum text i've distorted that i'll just reload reload page so this has uploaded i will copy the url let me come back to my page here while it loads on elementor so what i want to do is if i click here i can change all of this text and put whatever it is you desire i want to change that video there i'll come i've copied that link click on this six dots come to style and then paste the link you copied here and you now see the image the video has changed and it's quite it's of very very good quality you can also change all of this here all of these are images to get these kinds of icons you can come to flat icon dot com now let's look for law let's look for law and then you can see all of this now if you want to use this same color here you can use the color picker chrome extension pick from web let me try to pick this color so i've picked it it's yellowish gold i'll copy this when i come to the uh, flat icon let's say this is what i want to use this particular one let me see what it says there insurance oh, let me search for insurance instead insurance so this is insurance here and perhaps i want to use this one let me click on that and then i can edit icon i need to be logged in so let me go ahead and log in let me go ahead and log in now 
now i can edit this icon i'll click on edit edit icon and then i'll click on that color picker and paste that hex code here so you see it has changed let me download it in png format free download so i can come here now and come and pick that icon and change it there so you see that is that but i'll have to change the size what's the size here let me change the size perhaps it should be custom size or let me see thumbnail it's still too big custom size let's see 40 by 40 and apply it's too small uh, let's see 70 by 70 i think it's almost the same anyway you get the point you get the point it should be about 60 60 by 60 that is that so you can use it that way or you can go ahead and reduce it so you can change all the pictures to here you can download pictures from pexels.com and use them here change it as much as you want you know if you're building the website for a lawyer this could already be a template you can use and in just a few minutes you have the page already whipped up now let me come and create a page add a new page <coughs> and i want to add an about us page about us page so i'll publish and go to edit with elemental so now we can use the about us template which was provided i'll click on envato and view install kit then i want to look for about us about us so this one it has elemental it uses elemental pro features so let's use this one even those which um, use elemental pro features you can rebuild the sections you can manually rebuild the sections that require elemental pro so that you can use the entire page so it's important and it's going to upload to the page okay law and associates so you can see all of this here it has quite some good animations so what you can do is that you can change all of these uh, to your services you can change this to your pictures change this to your own picture change this to your own name let's just say it's moss or moritz and associate moritz and associate you see there you can just publish this and then change the text here to your own text you can use something like quarapo to um or chat gpt to get text let's come now and let's see about the contact page for the contact page let me come to pages add new and then i want to this to be the contact page contact page i'll publish and then i'll edit with elementor now for the contact page if you need a contact form you will need to build that by yourself while we uh, go ahead and install this while we go ahead and install this we will need to go and look for another plugin which we can use for our contact page so when you see contact us here what the reason why all of these are using uh, elementor pro let me look at this let me preview this it's most likely using an elemental pro form and that's why they are telling us we need to install requirements let me click we'll use this one we'll go ahead and use this one so let's ignore requirements and import it so let's go to our plugins and install a new plugin i want us to install a new plugin come to plugins click on add new and then look for met form met form met form should be one word 
so this is it install it this is going to give us the ability to create a free form activate it so our contact page has been uploaded so here what we are simply going to do is that we are going to add our form which we are going to build by ourselves so while you can change all of these things to your own text change this to your own pictures now you need a form here you can change the contact form to your own form let's come to med form it should be somewhere around here it's supposed to give us a widget med form where is it mm -mm 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 -mm. okay here it is come to forms it's going to prompt you first of all to set up everything go to next 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 save changes and then come back to forms come to forms you want to create a new form you can toggle off all of this you want to create a new form and let's say it's contact form now it already has uh, pre-made forms which you can use for your own use let's say this one let's demo this demo this contact form one why is it not loading okay this is what it looks like i think we can use this one so i'll just come here and click on that and see edit form what one crucial thing i want to do is that i want to use this hex code to change the color of the button so while it loads i'll pick that up and then now first of all let me come here and change the color of the button before anything to identify it with our brand logo so i'll come to style i'll paste the hex code here now you see it makes it you can go to your google dashboard and look for your recapture so i'll just leave this the way they are you can remove fields change fields and all that you can even change the font the font type i'll publish this i'll update and close so this is the form this is the short code i'll copy that come to my contact page here here i will remove this i will remove that what i can do now is that i can drop a widget a short form a short uh, code widget there click on this plus button search for short code if i'm too fast please you can slow down the video while you follow short code then i will paste that short code here you see it's going to bring that form here when i publish this and I preview this on another page. You see, we have our form here right now. So you don't need Elementor Pro for uh, to create a, a form. You can use this the way it is. So we have our form here. You can fill it and submit. It's going to submit to your email address, which is your admin email address. So if we look at this website, we see that we have a funny header here. How can we use Envato uh, header elements for this? I will go back to the dashboard of my website. And then what I want to do is that under uh, Team Builder, I'll go to Team Builder. And then, you know, it's telling you if you want to create a header or a footer for all of these, you need Elementor Pro. So what I need to do is let me come back to my dashboard. And I'm going to come to uh, Elemental Header Footer Builder, which we already installed. Elemental Header Footer Builder. I'm click, going to click on Add New. All of these, you don't need them, just skip. So, click on Add New and say you want to build a header. A header. And then, select the template type. It should be header. And it should be on the entire website. And then for security, just choose all pages again user rules let's just say all 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 everybody publish now now when you publish you can now go ahead and edit it with elementor it's going to load this is how to create headers and footers for free using elementor so whatever you create here is going to you set a condition for it to be the header for your entire website so what i'm going to do is to click on the envato elements plug um, kit again but this is not going to give you a header this is not going to give you a header so we are going to go now to free blocks let's go to free blocks and look for 
header here it is so you see a number of layouts that you are given since our website is has a dark background let me preview this it's very very important for us that we have a black header too i think it's it's better we have a black header i'm going to use this one i'll insert template it's inserting and you see here it is and it's telling you that there is an elemental pro uh, widget here just remove that remove that what we need to do is to come to our dashboard now and create our menu come to the dashboard and create menu come to appearance menus i'm going to remove all of this remove selected now i want to add these current pages add to menu and then it should be primary menu i'll see save now i can change this here to be our logo this is just a text it's just a text but if you design the logo what you can do is that you can drag a picture an image here and then instead select your logo and add it there if we have anything we can use as a logo we can use it there take for example let me use this i'll use this as our logo i'll delete this and then i'm going to add a navigation menu there so i'll just say nav nav and then i'll select navigation menu this one hfb that's head and footer builder that's what i'm going to use there so you see it has already brought our navigation menu but we want to first of all layout go to layout and make it center secondly we want to change the color to be this color the color of the text and then i'm going to go to text color and paste there that hex code no let me copy that again i'll copy that again and paste this here you see then we can change this button we can change this button let's click on the button i want to change it to be this color let me go to style first of all and i want to change the background color to be this i'll change it to be that and then you see it looks funny let me click back on that and then i see something happening on hover um let me come back to this the padding the top padding should be let's see 15 15 bottom padding 15 right should be 30 left 30 that is a little bit too big let me see 12 or 10 10 25 25 now i will change the button text i want the button text to look a little bit more chic i'll make it to be poppins so the button text should be poppins and the size i want to use px so that i that's what i'm used to and it's easier to change so let it be 13 and the weight should be 800 no not 800 that's to be vote let's say 600 and we can change the text to be contact 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 so i'm going to publish that so if i preview my website now if i preview my website now it's not showing because i need to set this my home page to be my actual home page so i'll come to this let me come to the dashboard of the website what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to uh, settings reading reading and i'll choose home page to be a static page and it's going to be home i'll save that if i now come to this home page and reload you now see this blends in very beautifully the header blends in very beautifully we can do the same for the footer we see this footer here it's from a previous uh, work i was doing i want us to change the footer so we'll come back to our back end of the website and come to elemental header footer builder and now we we'll click on add new and we want to name this footer 
and then the type of template should also be a footer and then it should be entire website and then for security all pages user rules or and click on publish now edit with elementor right now we can edit that with elementor and then let's go to free blocks let me go back and we click on the invert to elements uh, widget and then we go to free blocks we want to look for a footer now which we can use so we have some good ones that are pre-built i will use this one because it's very simplistic and minimalist import it will take some time to import so when you come to the home page of your website you see you can change anything here and you can if there is something which you want to add let's say peradventure you want to add i'm going to show you how to look for individual widgets on envato uh, elements plugin and use them so this is what we have here this is what we have here we can change this and use what we previously used uh where is that this is it we can change this and use that and then let's say peradventure we want to make this to be totally black it's not really black what they actually added is an image i can delete this image and i want this to be totally black that's black then you can change all of this here these icons you can, whichever one you don't want you can remove wordpress remove medium let's say you want to add tiktok click on that plus button and click on that icon search for tiktok tiktok click on all icons and then you add your link the link to your tiktok account here and click on publish let's say peradventure you wanted to add maybe a bar under here saying a copyright bar let's just add that and then first of all we want to drag text inside a text editor and want to see all rights all rights reserved okay and we may want to make this text to be white because we want to make this background to also be black and i'll click on that entire section come to style and then come to background type and click on color make this black and then i may want to align this to the center that is that you can even change the color to be the same gold the same gold color let me copy that from there and then change it from white to gold so it still works if i preview this website now this is what we have right now with this melissa whatever if i reload this right now This is what we have so you see it blends in very well with our website let's say now if there is a section we want to add inside here let's say we want to add testimonials i'll go to click on edit with elementor and then if let me just close this it's editing so i will still come here on this envato elements Let's say I want to add testimonials from clients. Let me click on Envato Elements. I'll come to Free Blocks. And then I look for Testimonials. So you can either use a Testimonial Grid or, or Testimonial Sliders. This one is looking really, really good. In the same vein, you can look for Testimonial Sliders so that they slide, they slide past each other. This one is looking really, really, really attractive. I'm going to import it you see the other ones here you can use them as you like you can use this one if you like this one each testimonial is going to show on the slide so it's asking us to use elementor pro no we are not going to use elementor pro what we can do is let me close this we will not use the slider let's just use element the grid if you had elementor pro you can do that let's use testimonial grid testimonial grid I'll use this one it's definitely not going to ask us for elementor pro you can use this one if you like is the design is really good you can use this one too 
or you can use this one do this overlay around each block so it's uh, about to upload onto our page so this is what we have what you can do is that you can change all of the text here and let's say you want to make each of these testimonial grids to be black and the text to be white i'll click on this text i'll come to style and then i'll change the text to be white i'll also change this to be white text color white i will change this to to be white let's say not totally white but grayish and then now this entire background this entire section i'm going to change it this column i'm going to change the background color to be black so you can go ahead and do this for every text you know every testimonial grid here let's just copy this paste style paste style and paste style i will do the same here copy this paste style paste style paste style i will do the same here copy paste style paste style paste style and then i'll copy this to copy paste style this style this style so this is what we have let's say for example you wanted this corners here to be a bit rounded just click on this click on this go to advanced no not advanced go to style and then when you see border you want the border reduce to be you want to increase it so the more I increase you see how it becomes rounded so let's make each of these like this copy paste style paste style and paste style so this is this if you could change the position of this probably maybe you wanted it to be above this you can drag this and put it maybe above here yes so okay all of it was not dragged they are separate sections you can drag this and put this under here so drag this one too and put it above so this is this that's how you can add individual elements so you can go now publish your website let's look at the website on the front end let's look at the website this is the home this is the home you can see as a scroll you can also see the about us page about us just so you know i didn't intend for this tutorial to be this long i thought it would just be 10 or 11 minutes so this is the about us page and then this is the contact of speech and mind you this looks like a luxury website nobody is going to be able to tell that you didn't build this from scratch nobody and you see how everything just slides in you can remove all of this section on that I personally will remove that uh, this is an extra home uh, you can remove that from your menu try to remove that from menu um, let me come to let me come to back and come to appearance menus and then I'll remove okay let me remove this one remove this one and then this is going to be here I'll save menu and then I come now to the website and reload it. Yes, we have everything is okay. So that is how you use the Envato tele uh, Elements template kit. You install it, use it, and change it to your own advantage. If you got any uh, value in this video tutorial, please make sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the notification bell so that when I put videos like this, you'll be the first to be notified. God bless you. Peace.